I did have one experience where I was expecting a delivery and when it got to me, I opened it and... Today is the clash of the shipping services. We'll be reviewing Johnny Air, Shipping Cart, and P.O. Box and how do they all stack up together, which is the easiest to use, which is legit. Who should you trust to bring over your items from the States or some other country to the Philippines? Before we get to the individual nitty gritty of each shipper, I will just go through what they all have in common. So all of the shippers here in this list do that. Shop online, you send it to their warehouse. They will take care of bringing it from the States here to the Philippines. For all of these three shippers also, you don't need to worry about additional fees, which means taxes. You know, sometimes when you go through a third-party service, you get assessed customs tax on items coming inside the country. But the nice thing about all of these three shippers, once they give you a price, that's it. That's all in. You don't need to worry about paying customs or some other fee or some other thing. So it's really nice that all of these services take care of that for you. And that's one of the major reasons why I use them. And for the third point, which all three shippers have in common, they are all legit. Trust me, I have used all of them many times for many different kinds of items and all of them from the three shippers, the items will arrive to you in good condition. You just don't know when they will arrive, sometimes depending on volume of shipments and time of the year like Christmas. It could take a while, you know, it could take a couple of months before your items reach you here in the Philippines. But rest assured, these three guys, I've never had a problem. Over the years, over multiple items, all three of these guys have proven themselves reliable in that your item will reach you in good condition. First up on our list is Johnny Air and they are like the grandfather or the big daddy of all shipping services. I think they've been the one who has been doing it the longest or They've been around quite a long time and they're the first service that I used. And perhaps how long they've been at it is reflected in the customer experience. They're the most manual intensive shipper among the three on the list. And basically what I do when I ship via Johnny Air is that I order online, I send it to their warehouse address, and then I email my contact at Johnny Air. Hi, Johnny, for example. Johnny, you know, this is my item, this is the tracking thing, and you can see when it reaches your warehouse, I'm just letting you know, and let me know when it arrives in the Philippines. So everything is mano-mano, everything is by email, and then the guy will reply back to me, yes, I uh, got it, I'll let you know. So I email, and then I hear nothing from them for the next couple of months. And then suddenly, out of the blue, maybe two months later or so, Johnny Air will text me saying that your item is here, come get it for pickup. What's unique about Johnny Air is that they're the only service that I've used where you don't need to pay. You only pay once the item is here in the Philippines and you go there to pick it up. Personally, I just go to their office here in Makati. It's on a quiet street right behind AIM. So I get their text, I come over, and then that's when I pay the fee. It's the only service that I know that lets you pay once the item is actually here in the Philippines rather than having to pay when the item reaches the warehouse in the States. I've only ever tried their shipment by sea, although the last time I talked to them, they did indicate that they do air freight now as well, which is a much faster way of getting your items. But Johnny Air is very reliable. If you don't mind a bit of manual processing involved, I've, I would highly recommend them. And if Johnny Air is like the granddaddy of all of these shipping guys, Shipping Cart is the new kid on the block and it, and it really feels like the new kid on the block. It's very shiny, it's very tech literate because everything is processed through their website and everything is automated with Shipping Cart. It feels very web 2.0, very hip, very now. You don't need to email them that, hey, please expect this item. And once they receive the item, they will email you that, hey, we've received the item. And they'll even send you a picture of the item. So everything is very organized. Everything is very slick. Everything is very 
just log on and everything is convenient at your fingertips. What I like about Shipping Cart is it's the one with the most personality. I shipped an item from the UK. They do accept also shipments from the UK. It was a model of a it was a model of the Battlestar Galactica. If you if you're a sci-fi fan and you haven't seen that series, you should. It's an awesome series. But anyway, I'm a big fan of BSG. Uh, the, the this is the reboot BSG. So I got a model from the UK and I had it shipped here. And and when Shipping Cart received the item and notified me. There was even a little comment on the website that, hey, this is the item we, you got, and by the way, it's super cool. So, you know, that's the first ever shipper I've encountered that, that actually took the time to appreciate the item, to take a look at the item and think that, oh, you know, this is pretty uncommon, and yeah, it's pretty cool, and I'll let the customer know. You can select either air shipment or shipment via sea, and Everything comes out there, the cost, and they will not ship it to you here in the Philippines until you pay for it online. Overall, I have no complaints about Shipping Cart. They're a super good service. I've used them a lot as well. One quirky experience I did have with them, one unique experience was that I had one order which had several small items and then one big item. And when that order arrived, I couldn't find the small items. And so I contacted their customer service and I'm like, you know, this shipment should have like five small items. I can't find them. And it turned out that it was partly my fault because the small items, what shipping cart did was they put it inside the big item. I don't know, I guess that saves space. I don't know if that saved me money. But once I opened up the big item, I found the little item still boxed inside the big item. So my takeaway from that experience was that the customer service of Shipping Cart is very reliable. They have a chat button there on their website. Again, very Web 2.0. And customer service was very responsive. They helped track me through the problem. And together, we finally solved the mystery of where the smaller items went. In terms of responsiveness, the automation of Shipping Cart is much more convenient from a UI or from a customer experience perspective than Johnny Air. And actually, the ones behind Shipping Cart are the same owners of LBC. So you can tell that logistics is in their blood, that they have a lot of experience with that. And they really thought about how to make it easy for the customer. It's the easiest shipping service I've used among the very many that I've tried. So if you want a no-brainer shipping service, maybe slightly a bit pricier, but if you don't mind that and you do feel that you get what you pay for, everything is very convenient, it's very fast, it's very, I don't want to think anymore, this is a service for me. And the last service in our review head-to-head -head today or our review shipping match-up today is P.O. Box. And P.O. Box is actually like a mixture of Johnny Air, the manual nature of Johnny Air versus the automation of shipping cart. Because with P.O. Box, you log on to their website, but you have to tell them through their website. There's a form there that, hey, please expect these items. So yes, they do have a website, but it's nowhere near as streamlined, nowhere near as automated as shipping cart. And so you tell them that please expect these items, here are the tracking numbers, here's a description of the items. And P.O. Box is a little slow compared to Shipping Cart and Johnny Air. It takes a little while for them to acknowledge that they got the item. Sometimes I did need to follow up that, hey guys, it's been a while, according to Amazon, the item's already with you guys. Um, can you update it on your end? P.O. Box also does ask you to pay before they send it from the States to the Philippines. The usual process is that they receive it in the States, they measure it, and they tell you, they send you an email saying that, okay, it's gonna take 4,000 pesos to ship over your items, and please deposit in our bank account. So again, it's a very manual process, unlike the online credit card payment of shipping card. You pay via bank deposit. Although, a nice feature of P.O. Box is that you can either choose to pay in dollars or in pesos. P.O. Box is really like if you got the manual nature of Johnny Air mixed with some of the web savvy, web 2.0 nature of shipping cart and you get P.O. Box. 
I did have one experience where I was expecting a delivery and when it got to me, I opened it and there were shoes, which was great. Except I didn't order shoes. I ordered electronics. I'm like, what the heck is this? So I immediately emailed PO Box saying that, you know, guys, I got shoes. I was not expecting shoes. I was expecting this. And they immediately, to be fair, they immediately got back to me. Okay, we're going to send the courier back. They're going to get back the shoes and please stand by. No, it was like, could you please describe your item? And I'm like, oh no, this is going to turn out badly. But. After I gave them all the details, they managed to track down the item and a couple of days later, they did manage to get me the proper item. So still a 100% success rate on the part of PO Box, but you know, I was a bit concerned a little bit that like, am I really gonna get the item that I ordered? But, but they pulled it through and they managed to get me my item. So again, that's all hypothetical. PO Box in the end did not let me down. So among all of those three services, who would you go for? Personally, for me, if you're not rushing and you don't mind a bit of manual nature and you don't mind a bit of manual back and forth, I would still go with Johnny Air. If you don't, if you want a lot of automation and you want the item right away, then perhaps shipping cart is the best option for you. And for bulk orders, like I've used PO Box for a bunch of bulk orders and they haven't let me down. So basically, I'm not gonna make any recommendation. All three of them are fine. I, I would trust them with all of my items and I have trusted all of them with multiple items over the years. It just really depends on what you need. You need super fast, go with shipping cart. You are willing to put up with a bit of snail paste manual back and forth between you and the shipper, then P.O. Box and Johnny Air are both fine choices. But if you're looking for PC parts, you don't need to look abroad because Hardware Sugar has your back. We will find items for you that other shops don't have. We will deliver them to you free of charge within Metro Manila. And you know, we really try to make buying PC parts or buying a whole rig super easy for customers and so if you are looking for PC parts, do let us know, chat us up in the comments, look for us on Facebook, believe me, you won't regret it. We will find you the part that you need or we will suggest alternatives. And that's it for the shipper roundup. Thanks for watching.